Section 4.2 Governance Governance is critical to the development and adoption of any platform because, as with all other types of systems, Avalanche will also face natural evolution and updates. AVAX provides on-chain governance for critical parameters of the network where participants are able to vote on changes to the network and settle network upgrade decisions democratically. This includes factors such as the minimum staking amount, minting rate, as well as other economic parameters. This enables the platform to effectively perform dynamic parameter optimization through a crowd oracle. However, unlike other governance platforms out there, Avalanche does not allow unlimited changes to arbitrary aspects of the system. Instead, only a predetermined number of parameters can be modified via governance, rendering the system more predictable and increasing safety. Further, all governable parameters are subject to limits within specific time bounds, introducing hysteresis and ensuring that the system remains predictable over short time ranges. A workable process for finding globally acceptable values for system parameters is critical for decentralized systems without custodians. Avalanche can use its consensus mechanism to build a system that allows anyone to propose special transactions that are, in essence, system-wide pools. Any participating node may issue such proposals. Nominal reward rate is an important parameter that affects any currency, whether digital or fiat. Unfortunately, cryptocurrencies that fix this parameter might face various issues, including deflation or inflation. To that end, the nominal reward rate is subject to governance within pre-established boundaries. This will allow token holders to choose on whether AVAX is eventually capped, uncapped, or even deflationary. Transaction fees, denoted by the set uppercase F, are also subject to governance. Uppercase F is effectively a tuple which describes the fees associated with the various instructions and transactions. Finally, staking times and amounts are also governable. The list of these parameters is defined in Figure 1. Item 1 is Delta Staking Amount, denominated in AVAX. This value defines the minimal stake required to be placed as bond before participating in the system. The next item is delta to the base of min, the minimal amount of time required for a node to stake into the system. The next item in the list is delta to the base of max, the maximal amount of time a node can stake. The next item in the list is lowercase p colon open parentheses, pi, delta, comma, lowercase r, delta to the base of min, close parentheses, arrow pointing to uppercase r, reward rate function, also referred to as minting rate, determines the reward a participant can claim as a function of their staking amount, given some number of pi publicly disclosed nodes under its ownership, over a period of lowercase r consecutive delta to the base of min time frames such that lowercase r delta to the base of min is less than or equal to delta to the base of max. The last item in the list is uppercase f, the fee structure, which is a set of governable fees parameters that specify costs to various transactions. The caption for this list is figure 1 key non-consensus parameters used in Avalanche. All notation is redefined upon first use. In line with the principle of predictability in a financial system, governance in AVAX has hysteresis, meaning that changes to parameters are highly dependent on the recent changes. There are two limits associated with each governable parameter, time and range. Once a parameter is changed using a governance transaction, it becomes very difficult to change it again immediately and by a large amount. These difficulty and value constraints relax as more time passes since the last change. Overall, this keeps the system from changing drastically over a short period of time, allowing users to safely predict system parameters in the short term while having strong control and flexibility for the long term. 
Section 5, Discussion. Section 5.1, Optimizations. Pruning. Many blockchain platforms, especially those implementing Nakamoto consensus such as Bitcoin, suffer from perpetual state growth. This is because, by protocol, they have to store the entire history of transactions. However, in order for a blockchain to grow sustainably, it must be able to prune old history. This is especially important for blockchains that support high performance, such as Avalanche. Pruning is simple in the Snow family. Unlike in Bitcoin and similar protocols, where pruning is not possible per the algorithmic requirements, in AVAX, nodes do not need to maintain parts of the DAG that are deep and highly committed. These nodes do not need to prove any past history to new bootstrapping nodes and therefore simply have to store active state, i.e. the current balances, as well as uncommitted transactions. Client Types Avalanche can support three different types of clients, archival, full, and light. Archival nodes store the entire history of the AVAX subnet, the staking subnet, and the smart contract subnet, all the way to Genesis, meaning that these nodes serve as bootstrapping nodes for new incoming nodes. Additionally, these nodes may store the full history of other subnets for which they choose to become validators. Archival nodes are typically machines with high storage capabilities that are paid by other nodes when downloading old states. Full nodes, on the other hand, participate in validation, but instead of storing all history, they simply store the active state, e.g. current UTXO set. Finally, for those that simply need to interact securely with the network using the most minimal amount of resources, Avalanche supports light clients, which can prove that some transaction has been committed without needing to download or synchronize history. Light clients engage in the repeated sampling phase of the protocol to ensure safe commitment and network-wide consensus. Therefore, light clients in Avalanche provide the same security guarantees as full nodes. Sharding Sharding is the process of partitioning various system resources in order to increase performance and reduce load. There are various types of sharding mechanisms. In network sharding, the set of participants is divided into separate subnetworks as to reduce algorithmic load. In state sharding, participants agree on storing and maintaining only specific subparts of the entire global state. Lastly, in transaction sharding, Participants agreed to separate the processing of incoming transactions. In Avalanche Borealis, the first form of sharding exists through the subnetwork's functionality. For example, one may launch a gold subnet and another real estate subnet. These two subnets can exist entirely in parallel. The subnets interact only when a user wishes to buy real estate contracts using their gold holdings at which point Avalanche will enable an atomic swap between the two subnets. Section 5.2 Concerns Post-Quantum Cryptography Post-Quantum Cryptography has recently gained widespread attention due to the advances in the development of quantum computers and algorithms. The concern with quantum computers is that they can break some of the currently deployed cryptographic protocols, specifically digital signatures. The Avalanche network model enables any number of VMs, so it supports a quantum-resistant virtual machine with a suitable digital signature mechanism. We anticipate several types of digital signature schemes to be deployed, including quantum-resistant RLWE-based signatures. The consensus mechanism does not assume any kind of heavy crypto for its core operation. Given this design, it is straightforward to extend the system with a new virtual machine that provides quantum-secure cryptographic primitives. Realistic Adversaries The Avalanche paper provides very strong guarantees in the presence of a powerful and hostile adversary, known as a round adaptive adversary in the full point-to-point -point model. In other terms, the adversary has full access to the state of every single correct node at all times, knows the random choice of all correct nodes, 
as well as can update its own state at any time before and after the correct node has the chance to update its own state. Effectively, this adversary is all-powerful, except for the ability to directly update the state of a correct node or modify the communication between correct nodes. Nonetheless, in reality, such an adversary is purely theoretical since practical implementations of the strongest possible adversary are limited at statistical approximations of the network state. Therefore, in practice, we expect worst-case scenario attacks to be difficult to deploy. Inclusion and equality. A common problem in permissionless currencies is that of the rich getting richer. This is a valid concern, since a POS system that is improperly implemented may in fact allow wealth generation to be disproportionately attributed to the already large holders of stake in the system. A simple example is that of leader-based consensus protocols, wherein a subcommittee or a designated leader collects all the rewards during its operation, and where the probability of being chosen to collect rewards is proportional to the stake, accruing strong reward compounding effects. Further, in systems such as Bitcoin, there is a big get bigger phenomenon where the big miners enjoy a premium over smaller ones in terms of fewer orphans and less lost work. In contrast, Avalanche employs an egalitarian distribution of minting. Every single participant in the staking protocol is rewarded equitably and proportionally based on stake. By enabling very large numbers of people to participate firsthand in staking, Avalanche can accommodate millions of people to participate equally in staking. The minimum amount required to participate in the protocol will be up for governance, but it will be initialized to a low value to encourage wide participation. This also implies that delegation is not required to participate with a small allocation. Section 6. Conclusion In this paper, we discuss the architecture of the Avalanche platform. Compared to other platforms today, which either run classical style consensus protocols and therefore are inherently non-scalable, or make usage of Nakamoto style consensus that is inefficient and imposes high operating costs, the Avalanche is lightweight, fast, scalable, secure, and efficient. The native token, which serves for securing the network and paying for various infrastructural costs, is simple and backwards compatible. AVAX has capacity beyond other proposals to achieve higher levels of decentralization, resist attacks, and scale to millions of nodes without any quorum or committee election, and hence without imposing any limits to participation. Besides the consensus engine, Avalanche innovates up the stack and introduces simple but important ideas in transaction management, governance, and a slew of other components not available in other platforms. Each participant in the protocol will have a voice in influencing how the protocol evolves at all times, made possible by a powerful governance mechanism. Avalanche supports high customizability, allowing nearly instant plug-and-play with existing blockchains. And the section after this is just the references.